In this video I'll be showing you how to fix Harry Potter and the Diffie Hellos Part 2 for the PC. This video is for educational purposes only. This video is brought to you by myself and the rest of my team known as Fix Enhancers. I'm going to be going over two fixes for this game inside of this video. One will be the HPA EA app version of the game and the other will be the non EA app version of HPA. The EA app fix will include higher aspect ratios, higher frame rate, higher field of view, frame rate counter and window mode. The non EA app version will include higher Higher frame rate, higher field of view, frame rate counter, and window mode. Before I get into all that, I need to explain Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 PC game as it currently stands, which I'm going to refer to now as HP8 as it's shorter to say. To make it clear, the HP8 disc copy of the game includes a DRM called Secure ROM. What this has done to the HP8 EXE has made it basically impossible to look into and edit, making it very difficult to create a fix for the non EA app version, i.e., the disc copy of the game. We have managed to do it, however, it has has been extremely difficult to actually achieve this so the fact that you have any fix at all for this version of the game you are extremely lucky to be honest. I do also need to add that our fix will most likely work on most no CD cracks that were made for the disc copy of the game. So to then move on and explain about the EA app version of the game this is the best version of HP8 to be running and playing to date. It also does not contain any secure ROM whatsoever it is just directly tied to the EA app which I know might not sound great for a lot of people but believe me it's a lot better than having the secure ROM that's currently in the game on the disc copy as at least that way it's a lot easier for us to fix the EA app version and provide a lot more support for it down the road. Now I know a lot of people will be wondering how the hell do I get the EA app version as you can't just buy it off the storefront anymore and this is indeed correct. There are two ways where you can get the EA app version of this game. You can either find a key for the EA app version online and try and buy one or the alternative is if you have a disc copy of the game the key that is on the back of the manual you can actually input this into your EA app launcher and then redeem it to your EA app account and I'm going to suggest right now everybody that has a disc copy of this game if you can use the EA app within your country I do understand that some countries can't use the EA app but if you do have access to it I highly suggest that you go and get the EA app if you don't have it already on your PC go and log in with your account and then go and redeem the code for your game within the box on the back of the manual within the EA app so that way you will then have the game tied to your EA app account and you can download and install it whenever you like and like I said this version does not come with secure ROM it is just tied directly to the EA app for those of you that don't quite understand how to actually redeem the game inside of the EA app I will explain it for you all now okay so disk users once you've downloaded the EA app and logged into your EA app account you will then need to come down to the library tab where it will have the list of all the games that you own when you're inside of the library app all you need to do is come over to this option here called redeem code and click it once you click this it will pop up this little box like so and it will tell you to put in your code that you have for your game inside of here this is where you would look inside of your box and look behind the manual which is where you would have that code there and you would enter in that code from the manual inside of this box here and then once you do that you click next when you click next it should then say congratulations for redeeming harry potter and the deathly hallows part 2 onto your ea app account you should then notice inside of your library you should see harry potter and definitely had those part two like it is here for me like so if when you try to redeem your code from inside of your disc copies box into the ea app account and it failed then the reason behind this will be likely because somebody else has already redeemed the code on their ea app account and you can only redeem a code inside of a game box once something i need to quickly go over before we get into the fix is relating to our fixes going forwards so some browsers and antivirus softwares might potentially flag up our fixes now to explain in an english way why this might happen this is due to the fact that our fixes use something called hooks what we do is we hook inside of the exe files for the games and then we can change the code inside of them this is effectively how we're able to change the code inside of the exe file which then works inside of our dol file to allow you to use custom settings within the game of course the normal average user is not supposed to be using hooks within windows and this is why some antivirus softwares and browsers can get a little touchy about this there is nothing actually wrong with any of these fixes these are all just false flags so if you come down to the first link down in the description in the pinned comment it will take you to this website here this is github this is where we're hosting all of our fixes going forwards and these are the fixes for hp8 there are two fixes for hp8 there is one that is designed for the ea app specifically also known as hp8 fix and there is one designed for the non ea app version also known as hp8 non ea app version depending on which version of the game you are trying to fix if you are trying to fix the ea app specific version of hp8 you want to download this file here 
If you are trying to fix the non EA app version, i.e. the disk copy, etc., then you want to download this fix here. I'm going to go through each of these fixes individually just to make it plain and obvious exactly what each user will be using. So I'm going to start off with the EA app version. If you are not using the EA app version, then use the timestamp down in the description in the pinned comments so that you could skip to the non EA app version. So I put my HP8 fix here on the desktop, as you can see right here in this folder. So when I open that up, I will have the actual file which I downloaded from online here, which is a zip file. All you have to do is simply right click it and then click extract all. And then once you extract everything, it will create a folder here called HP8 fix. You'll find three files inside of this folder. You'll find a D3D9DOL file, a D3D9INI file and a readme file. The readme file just explains everything about the fix, the team, etc. So if you wish to read that, feel free. The two important files that we need to focus on are the D3D9DOL file and the D3D9INI file. You will then need to find where you've installed your EA app version of HP8 and open up to the PC folder, which is the folder where the game's exe file is located. Once you've opened up to that, all you need to do is either do a control C and control V inside of the HP8 install area, or you can drag and drop the two files from the fix inside of there. You should now see that you have a D3D9DOL and a D3D9INI file inside of your HP8 EA app install area. You'll want to open up the D3D9INI file now. So now that you've opened up the D3D9INI file, these are all the settings that you're going to be presented with if you're using the EA app version of the game. I'm going to go through each of the individual settings now. So the first setting is the FPS limit. So this is the frame rate within the game. By default, this game is locked at 30 frames. However, we have now unlocked the game so that you can play it up to 60 frames. I'm saying that you can play it up to 60 frames because what we've done in the INI file and the DOL file has made it so it can only go up to 60 frames. The reason we've done this is deliberate as this game's engine does not support above 60 frames properly. And there are lots of problems that happen throughout this game, including pathing issues as well as crashes on the game. This is why we've left this at 60 for this game. So you can put in your frame rate limit here. I suggest everyone just puts this to 60, which we put it at by default. The next option is the FPS limit mode. You either have the choice of one or two. Usually in this game, like it was for HP7, you're better off putting this on two as you don't seem to have too many lag spikes on two. On one, you sometimes do get the odd occasional lag spike with this game. So I recommend everyone leaves this option at two. Next option, display FPS counter so this displays a frame rate counter in the top left hand corner of the screen if you wish to turn this on simply change this zero to a one next option force window mode so this will allow you to play hpa in a window mode rather than full screen if you wish to use this simply change that zero to a one next option is fov so this is field of view you can either use the option one or zero within this section if you use zero then the game will remain on its default field of view that you normally play on if you choose to use one then this will zoom out the fov a fair bit so so that way you can see a lot more of the character and just have a better field of view. So if you wish to play with the original experience, leave the FOV as zero. If you wish to play with the new experience, change this to one. The next option is full screen aspect ratio. This is only supported currently within the EA app version of the fix. I will explain why for the non EA app version people later on. By default, the game uses a 16 by nine aspect ratio. So if you're playing with a 16 by nine aspect ratio screen, you leave this on zero. However, if you're playing with a higher aspect aspect ratio screen such as 21 by 9 then you will need to choose the correct number from the right hand side over there and put it over on the left hand side so for example if you want to play at the aspect ratio 32 by 10 you would change that 0 to a 5 and then finally the bottom option is just the force window mode options so if you chose to use window mode earlier on then you will need to use this section in order to set up how you wish your window mode to work in the game obviously this is user dependent you can choose what you wish to use so I will leave that up to the end user to decide what they want to use here so once you put in all the options that you wish to use, you simply need to come up to the top here and press file and save, or alternatively, you can just press control S on your keyboard. So for the non EA app users, you will now need to go and find where you've saved the fix on your PC. For the sake of this tutorial, I put it here on the desktop. So I've created a folder called HP8 fix. Inside of this folder is the HP8 non EA app version zip file, which I downloaded from GitHub. All you have to do is simply right click this and then click extract all. Once you do so, it will create another folder here. Then inside of that folder, you will find four files files, a D3D9DOL file, a D3D9INI file, an FPS DOL file, and a readme file. The readme file is there just to explain the fix and go over various points about the team, etc. So if you wish to read that, feel free. The three files that we need to focus on are these three files here, which is the D3D9DOL file and the D3D9INI file, as well as also the FPS DOL file. In order to make the non-EA app version work, we have to use an FPS DOL file to make sure that the FPS actually stays at what it should be with this version of the fix. 
works. You will now need to find where you have installed your Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 game. And you will need to browse into the PC folder and come to where the actual EXE is located. So I have mine open up here on the left hand side. You will now need to do a Control C and Control V into the install location. Or you can drag and drop the three files into the install location instead. So now you should see that you have a D3D9 DOL file, a D3D9 INI file and an FPS DOL file inside of your HPA install location. You now want to open up the D3D9 INI file in order to configure the settings. So once you open up the INI file it'll look like this. These are all the options that you can change within the game so I'm going to go through each one individually one by one. So the first option is FPS limit so this is the frame rate limit within the game. By default the game is capped to 30 frames. We have now uncapped the game's frame rate and within our DOL file we have made it go up to 60 frames. The reason we haven't by default allowed you to go above 60 frames inside of this INI file though is because this game is actually built to only go up to 60 frames within its engine so therefore if you go above 60 frames this game will break there are lots of parving issues that show up within the game meaning that characters get stuck at certain points there are points where the game will just completely crash music might break so on there are quite a few bugs that happen if you go above 60 frames next option is fps limit mode so you can either put a one or a two for this we've left this at two and recommend that you leave this at two as well next option is display fps counter so this will display a frame rate counter in the top left hand corner of your screen if you wish to use this simply change this option to a one if you don't wish to use it leave it on zero next option is force window mode so this will allow the user to use a window mode in the game instead of full screen if you wish to use window mode change that zero to a one next option is fov also known as field of view so you have two options for this inside of hpa you can either leave this on zero which is the default field of view within the game that you normally play at or you can change this to a one which is where the game will then zoom out the field of view so it's just giving you more view of your character in the general environment so if you wish to stay with the original field of view leave this as zero if you wish to use the new field of view set this to one and then the final options are force window mode options so if you chose window mode earlier on then down here you can select your different options you wish to use for your window mode obviously this is user dependent so i'm going to let the end user here choose what they wish to use for these options lastly there is one more option that is not present in here if you have watched the previous part about the ea app ini fix and this is aspect ratio currently in the non-ea app version of the game aspect ratio when changing this currently crashes the game meaning that it is not stable in the non-ea app version of the game so as a result we have not provided this option to any of you so as it currently stands everyone will be using a 16 by 9 aspect ratio when playing the non-ea app version of hp8 on pc once you put in all the settings you wish to use you can either come up to the top here and click file and then save or alternatively you can press ctrl s on your keyboard and the last thing i want to cover inside of this tutorial is a new system that we're putting in for all of our fixes going forward which is fix forms so if you come to the link down in the description it will take you to this website here this is basically our form where we leave this here for you guys to give us feedback on the fixes so any feedback that you have regarding the fix at all any bugs encountered etc then you can leave them here and submit it to us and then it means we can easily collect all this data in one place so if you do fill out a feedback form for us it will help us out a lot so now that you put all your settings in the ini file if you were to go and boot up the game you should notice now that your game will have all the settings that you set up saved and you will be able to play the game with these improved settings now and with that being said that is everything regarding the hp8 fix video so like i said earlier this game was a lot more challenging to actually fix on pc compared to the rest of the series in fact there were points where we honestly thought as our team was sitting down looking at this that it might not even be possible to fix one version of this game at all luckily we persisted enough to the point where it actually has been fixed in some shape or form but it was a very challenging task and to be honest this one has definitely been up there as one of the hardest game fixes we've ever had to put out but at the end of the day at least now everybody has a fix of some kind for hba on pc so i'm glad we managed to achieve it and i'm glad now that the entire series basically has some kind of fix on pc so everyone can play this series in a more improved fashion otherwise that's all there is to this video if you guys have any problems or need any help at all then feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section of the video and i'll try and get back to you as soon as i can if you need a guide to fixing up any of the other harry potter pc games or other pc games outside of that i'll have links to those down in the description as well as the pinned comment and other than that i hope you guys found the video useful and i will see you all in the next fix video very soon